The Trust for Public Land uh, makes a list of the, of the cities, the large cities in the United States, uh, that have the best park systems. And uh, Minneapolis and St. Paul, in, this, in the last ranking, were tied for number one. The attendance at our park, our park system in the metropolitan area is greater than the attendance at the Mall of America. Metropolitan Parks and Open Space Commission consists of eight regular members and one chair. There is an open interview process. There's a committee of the Met Council who interviews all applicants who have to live in the district they're going to represent. And then the, uh, the council and the chair appoint the members of the commission. A major goal of our parks and trail systems is to interconnect those parks so that we have a region-wide system where we have large parks, smaller parks, but they're all interconnected. Uh, and uh, obviously if we have 10 different implementing agencies, uh, we need to see how uh, their plans are going to connect with the people next to them. So I think that really shows that we're, we're trying to collaborate and work together. Uh, we just finished rewriting the park policy plan for the year 2040 and every, every proposal that we have for spending uh, is judged against that plan. So the plan, after it's been approved by the council, uh, really provides the basis for all of our work and it, it causes both the Parks and Open Space Commission as well as the 10 implementing agencies to work toward a common goal. I spent eight years as mayor of Lake Elmo working with Metropolitan Council and in that time uh, people came from all over the country to see why the Twin Cities was so successful with their regional government and with issues that affect the regional government like parks and open space. So I think it, it must be unique because it seems to be something that uh, uh, has made us successful and, and other people inquire about.